Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Battletech Heavy Metal. I've been looking around the star map here, trying to figure out our next play. Uh, we have a couple more flashpoints nearby. This one, sadly, is not even remotely doable. Uh, has a reward of lost tech items, sure would be nice to do it, definitely can't do it. This one, on the other hand, is a little bit outside of our difficulty range, but it also doesn't expire for 111 days. So I'm thinking we might be able to put this together. We might be able to get to that place. Uh, you can also see a new icon on the map. Any place you see this thing is a planet that has access to the black market. Black market, obviously, a thing I'm very interested in getting involved in. However, I also think, given our, given our status and everything, we'd be foolish not to buy the three pieces of a griffin that are available in this store, and that's not going to leave us with a lot of money to go shopping with. So, here's what we're going to do. We're definitely going to buy all these. New equipment available. That puts us at four out of five pieces of that uh, that particular type of griffin, which is just phenomenal. Uh, we're also probably going to buy some of this stuff. We're going to buy the plus ten damage medium laser for sure. New weapon systems available. Uh, plus ten damage small laser. I'm a little bit less excited about the cockpit mod. Is an absolute, New absolutely available. yes. Uh, do we want, let's see, we have, we're going to pay $424,000 in payroll in two days. I think we might want to take it easy from here. L let's get this large laser, because that's awfully good. But then, we really can't afford anything else. Yeah, okay, so we'll call it there. And we're going to accept a travel contract. There's a planet nearby. It is a two-skull difficulty planet, so it'll have some jobs on it we can't do, but also uh, some stuff that pays fairly well. We don't really need to continue working for the pirates at this point, I guess. Uh, we will, at some point, have to re-up our membership to the black market, probably, but it's not going to be anytime soon. But, that said, this is definitely the planet we want to go to. Both of these contracts go to the same place, so I, th I think this is the smart move. Uh, we're training a group of mech warriors to act as a local defense force, and we'd like you to assist in their training. Okay, this is one of those. Um, I don't know if we actually are going to be able to do that. Let's let's accept this mission. It'll get us to the planet where the B-team mission is, is uh, being held, and we'll see about doing it once we're there. We've been able to infiltrate personnel into a contested region to take control of an abandoned base. We brought the base's primary power and communication systems online, but in doing so, we've made an unfortunate discovery. A pirate force has done the same thing with a nearby facility. So, another one of these. We can totally do this. This is against the pirates, that's fine. Uh, we are a little short on cash, but I definitely don't want to go zero priority salvage. So let's do this, this version of the payout. So this is going to fly us 12 days to the planet of Itika. Uh... All of our mech work will be finished in 11 days. So yeah, we're, stuff's pretty rough right now. Let's just go ahead and do normal pay again for another month. We're nearly broke, Commander. And I'm really, really hoping that we are going to have a lot of valuable work available on Itika. On top of being a nearby planet that that is approximately the right difficulty and has missions available on it, it's also... Um, uh, it, it's... It's not a black market, but it's a place where we can, I think, accumulate some cash, and it's near several black markets. So, hopefully we'll be able to do some shopping in the very near future. Now, fingers crossed we get to see a griffin in combat and, uh, and complete that, because it sure would be nice to have a 55-ton mech on our side. I don't necessarily think the griffin is, like, the greatest, but it'd be really cool to have. For real, uh, there needs to be a checkbox to just turn those notifications off entirely. It is crazy to me, like, how do they play their own game and never come to the conclusion, hey, this is coming up way too often. And by way too often, I mean ever at all. What does the store here have? So, a bunch of arm mods. I didn't, uh, I didn't refigure any mechs with the parts we bought because we were uh, going to a place that was so close to the, uh, the total of our already... Uh, committed repairs, but we'll definitely get that cockpit mod in uh, to a mech and, and do some other stuff on our way from here to the next place. So, not a lot of really great stuff. 
plus melee stability damage, but not actually plus melee damage. Hit defense, uh, a point of hit defense is just uh, minus 5% for all incoming attacks to hit you, so that would be a nice thing to buy. But I think that's really the only thing here that we want, and it's, it's quite cheap. Alright, show me the contracts. Lots of work, right? Lots of people have things they need blown up. There's so much work, the Comstar can't even load it all in a reasonable amount of time. Actually, yeah, this is a lot of work. That's wonderful. Alright, let's do the thing. Not a lot of it pays super, super well, and for some reason there's this job that's 283k, but yeah, we can, we can probably do this. Only one force can control this area when we're finished, and we'd like you to ensure that it's us. Alright, we're gonna run, as ever, two Centurions, and then we're talking about a lunar atmosphere here, so very, very low, um, very low heat sinking. We definitely want the fire starter out there, and we probably don't want the Jenner. Also, I thought all of our repairs were supposed to be finished. Hold on a second. What is going on here? I definitely have laid in 11 days worth of mech repairs. Oh, I wonder if a uh, if a mech tech bonus expired while we were on the way. Oh, no, probably this is what happened. So, the task management window displays the days using a different reckoning system than this thing does. See, here the assassin says 15 days, and here it says 11. I bet I opened up this menu, saw 11 days here, and I was like, okay, the queue will be processed in 11 days. Well, never mind. I should, I should probably just press there's a launch contract button right here. Okay. Centurion, Centurion, Firestarter, probably not Jenner. Um, I mean, the, the Urban Mech has a pretty low heat profile. And Tire Fire has the honor of becoming the first pilot in our team with three skills. I took, uh, took Sensor Lock on her, not because I think she'll get a lot of use out of it, but because I wanted to take points of tactics because she has very high gunnery uh, for, for just general hit chance, and then we increase her tactics to give her better um, better aimed shot percentages, and she can hopefully start taking down enemy mechs with a little bit more precision. We definitely want a sensor lock in here, and then... I don't know that it matters too, too much who's in the fire starter. Right, lunar attack and defend. So we may end up having to blow up an awful lot of crummy mechs over the course of this mission. Man, we, we really do need more mech tech points. Well, we can start a uh, start an upgrade that gives more mech tech points uh, pretty soon. I think we have one day left on our current Argo upgrade. So if we make enough money here to be sure that we'll be able to hit payroll and also to um, also to cover a reasonable spending spree at the black market then we can also lay in money for more mech tech points. I am cautiously optimistic about that. There's an awful lot of cash on the contracts here. Some of them are going to be things that we struggle to do a little bit, but we uh, we can certainly do all the one and a halfs. We can probably do the twos. The, the couple of two and a halfs might be pushing it a little bit. And we'll probably try to do one or two of those next just to get the difficult missions out of the way while we're still out of the way while we're still relatively close Command to full strength. Initiated. I will say that in general, I think that um, lunar atmosphere uh, advantages uh, the player. What kind of place is this? Because the AI is not good at heat management. So I mean, we know what happens here, right? They're going to send in no matter how well we do at this, they're going to send in ten thousand reinforcements. But most of them are going to be pretty bad, and we just got to keep them off the buildings, because there's an awful lot of money riding on this. And accomplishing optional objectives is a good idea. Enemy detected. It does feel like... Do we have more turns for this one than we did on the, the last one of these that took forever? I think we do. Okay, their mechs are in very poor shape, it looks like. That's... Gee, that's a lot of points of evasion. Uh, can you get in support weapon range? Yeah, okay. So we can hit him with the support weapons pretty easily. I'm not actually inclined to fire the flamers, but 
If we can get up here and be a threat to him and hit him with the machine guns a little bit, try to discourage him from shooting at the, um, definitely don't want to fire the lasers. After a jump jet move like that, I want to minimize heat. We can hopefully discourage him from firing at the buildings. So the 1v is not a great danger. We have we have definitely been in worse spots. Uh I mean, I guess we just sensor lock, right? I'm going to keep moving forward cuz it's going to take forever for this thing to get anywhere anyway. I've got a sensor lock. And then I don't I mean, maybe we shoot at him. I honestly don't know if it's worth shooting at him. Because we're probably not going to be able to hit him, right? I don't want to spend ammunition. Waiting on you, Commander. I guess I could shoot at him with, um, with a laser. Might get a good unobstructed shot. I got to come all the way back to here for it. I read you, Commander. Moving out. I mean, like, obviously heat sucks, but yeah, it's not too bad if I'm just firing the lasers, and the odds of hitting him aren't aren't, aren't absolutely terrible. Uh -huh. Okay. That was an okay outcome. And there's more where that came from. They have a vindicator with a particle cannon. Maybe a uh, a more pressing target. I want to like do this in such a way that I limit enemy access to me. That's just the best that shot's gonna get, huh? Well... He's four points of evasion. Man. Imagine being a large mech that can move fast enough to generate four points of evasion. It's crazy talk. Yeah, I don't really know that I want Cruz to do anything at all. I think there's... I, I think there's a pretty good chance that I'm doing this. Running up here uh -huh. and just racing because we're gonna have to go through an awful lot of enemies here oh this is perfect maybe throw the punch from the front though so that I'm not showing my back to all the other mechs I'm just thinking like there's a pretty good chance that we're going to end up um, fighting about 200 enemies here so maybe I want to be a little cautious okay that pilot's taking two damage now I'm surprised he's still going for the base. Usually, usually when you deal damage to an enemy in a situation like this, they start paying attention to you. You betcha. Right, we're definitely way more concerned about the Vindicator than we are about the little guys. As long as we keep being sort of broadly in front of them, we can keep them moving in in positions where we get to throw punches. Although, Jesus, that was an awful lot of movement. Waiting for orders. Alright, I think we wanna... I mean, I should probably, probably generate a couple of points of movement here. Or a couple of points of evasion. Or one point of evasion, that's fine. Coordinates received. All right, let's try to take this thing apart. I mean, I don't think there's any any reason to do anything other than just go to the center. Want some more, huh? Twenty-three health remaining. I hear ya. And we could probably kill him now, and probably should. But also, part of me really wants to just punch a little mech. Like, look at that. 70 damage would punch... Ah, man, 70 damage would be awfully good. I'm gonna do it. Moving out. I just don't want to have to deal with these guys. This is gonna be good. Ah, that's a real goddamn shame. Okay, we, did, <laughs> we dealt some damage to him, though.
Yeah, he's a little, little too close. That's kind of a weird choice, because probably the urban mech was a little too close for him to get optimal, um, optimal targeting with the PPC, but he would have been fine if he had shot at anybody else instead. So I'm not really sure why he did that. Uh, you know what? I think we can do this. I don't I don't think I'm actually exposing my back to the Vindicator here. Really? Another melee miss? That's just bad luck. Some pretty serious damage to his center torso, though. Okay. That's fine. That's not a big deal. I think we just keep throwing punches. These guys, these guys are generating such huge amounts of um, such huge amounts of evasion that other attacks simply aren't going to work, and we have to be real careful with our heat anyway. They are not being smart about staying out of punch range. Let's get fired up. There's work to do. There's a reasonable chance there that if I had missed the punch, I still would have gotten the kill because. Because of how bad these locusts uh, armor is. I can't believe we missed the attacks on both of those guys. That really They're coming around the side. really does suck. Fortunately, back armor on the centurion, or back armor yeah. damage Thank on the centurions hard. probably doesn't what really do, do anything. You? It's very unlikely that they're going to be able to close the close the deal on that. Definitely can't fire all this stuff. I'm going to precision strike again because we're going to have to turn off a bunch of the guns and I really want to make sure we get rid of this dude. 23. It'd be really cool if we could keep the medium laser on. Alright, let's do this. Three shots. If any one of them hit the center, we're clear. Here we go! Got him. I don't know that it matters too too much where I do this from. Got it. An eighty percent hit chance. Ugh. It's not it's not super high, right? Like missing two of those in a row is not it's not a totally crazy thing. Enemies down. But that's one of those numbers where it's like it's high enough to create that effect that causes problems for people. Like, well, if something's eighty percent, it should. I, I understand intellectually that 80% is not 100%, but I feel really bad if it fails to happen. Oof. Is that half of our total melee attacks have missed? This is very unfortunate. There's more where that came from. These guys are getting to do a lot of damage they shouldn't be getting to do because none of my mech warriors can, uh, can punch. actually managed to punch through oh wow and all of his weapons hit the same area that must be fun for that to be a thing that could happen can we turn on lasers without generating heat yeah Okay. Affirmative. That has been enough of that. Target destroyed. Mech destroyed. Waiting on you, Commander. So we still actually have five turns to um to get up there and destroy the base. We don't actually know where the reinforcement waves are gonna come in. The thing is, um, I don't want to destroy the base early. I want to make sure we handle all the reinforcement waves while keeping all of our friendly structures standing, because we we really desperately want um, full optional objectives. So I'm going to set up for that. Standing by. 
This is this is our eventual eventual evac. Yeah, we don't have to worry about enemies landing there. Affirmative. Waiting for orders. I'm gonna put you out in the middle. Full throttle. Okay. And we are actually just going to stand here until the reinforcements show up. We need to take some time to vent the heat anyway. Standing by. Okay. Wow, that's uh, far away from where we were prepared for. Good to go. We are getting two pieces of priority salvage. I don't expect to see another um, another medium mech. I think probably it's just going to be a bunch of garbage smalls based on what happened the first time we took one of these. So probably we will not actually see another piece of salvage that we want to take as priority. I mean, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm not even wild about a vindicator. Really like to be building up to bigger stuff, but we're gonna have to do some intermediaries there. So the fire starter's an issue, and obviously the panther is also potentially a problem. Uh, it's a little awkward. I definitely want to get all the way in there, so maybe we. I mean, I could just run over to here, I guess. I'm a little worried that if I put all if I put the fire starter far enough forward to do what I want to do, which is hit the panther in the right side with the support weapons to try to knock its particle cannon off, that I'm just going to get counterpunched by their fire starter. And I don't know if there's a lot I can do about that, but I definitely want to do this before the panther takes his turn. So I guess I'm just gonna commit. And I suppose we can precision strike here and, and try to do this the efficient way. And I will not engage the flamethrowers, I guess. They do five damage each. We get so such limited um, fire of them, though. Now let's turn them on. His particle cannon runs pretty hot. In case we don't destroy it. Like, say, because all of our shots miss. <laughs> Okay, that spider has lined itself up for face punching. Uh, I think what we do here is just run up and sensor lock somebody. Probably the panther, honestly. Just to keep it from, uh, from PPCing anybody. A sensor lock on the fire starter isn't going to have any effect, really. This is just going to do its damage in close range anyway. Or it's not going to do any damage at all because it wants to uh, wants to complete its mission objectives. Can you imagine that level of cowardice? You betcha. I am fairly sure now that the uh, the it's odds are starting to look pretty long. Like this thing that the thing that is happening to us Good is to very unlikely. It has gone from being not that unlikely to being very very unlikely. Good news is nothing. There is no good news. I really want to shoot at that guy, but I just can't. No angle. I could go over here and try to. Nope, never mind. Okay, I, I can find a direct fire angle. All right, I'll take that. I was gonna say I try to hit him in the back with the LRMs. Moving to position. That obviously is not happening. But this. This can happen. Got it. I have failed to hit the leg. Managed to spread out the damage just enough Critical not to destroy hit. anything. Let's get fired up. There's work Left him at 11 and 26. Alright, I'm going to try to finish the job. I think, I think it is important to get rid of this guy. Engaging. 
All right, well, we knocked half of the mech clean off. Honestly, now that he has no SRMs, um, probably a lot of the danger is of being up close. All, almost all of the danger of being up close to him is gone. What can I do for you? Weird decision making. As an infinite, a functionally an infinite amount of evasion, so there's no point in going after him. So we'll just... Well, I guess a sensor lock on any of these guys doesn't really help, though, because they're just going to refill all of their evasion. I don't think a sensor lock on anybody is particularly helpful here. Okay. Waiting on you, Commander. Is this back? No, that is the side. Well, that's annoying. Under no circumstances am I allowed to hit anybody in the back. Going toe -to -toe. Another hit like that and you're toast. Did not take enough stability damage to lose all of his, uh... All of his evasion, sadly. But some of it. Right, Commander. Right, Commander. And I'm having a hell of a time hitting people in the legs. Right, so this panther might just stand up and punch the fire starter. That's what I would do in his place since he can't really contribute. Yeah, that's that's terrible. It's very difficult to fire weapons to turn you stand up from being knocked over. Waiting on you, Commander. All right, I think that guy's in poor enough shape that we want to throw a punch at. The fire starter here. I want to get all of the enemies feeling like they're in danger so they're not shooting at the buildings. Hey, we finally hit a leg. Come on, small laser. Aw. The small laser had also hit the leg. We'd be in really good shape there. Okay, not too bad. Reporting. Structural damage. I will say I'm definitely to some degree suffering um, damage because of the fact that our mechs are missing shots that they should be hitting. I kind of can't believe that pilot's still alive. Enemy mech critical damage detected. So he has no weapons left. He is he is less of a threat. Not doing a good job of working on the urban mech from the same side. I hear ya. Which Waiting could be a fatal mistake, but there's also go. a pretty good chance that it will not be because my mechs will simply refuse to kill the enemy. We want to punch the javelin. Yeah. Because it still had not taken its turn then. Alright, now that fire starter did not move very much this turn, so we should have a pretty clean shot on him. Coordinates received. Show me lethal. Actually, we try to put him down on the ground. I'm gonna try to put him down on the ground. Firing on target. Okay. That should make things pretty easy. Never mind. We put him on the ground and also cord him. Alright, those guys are coming in slower. 
I mean, this is this is not the top priority. Hold on a second. Where do we want to hit you? I guess it doesn't really matter. There will come a time when an enemy mech having five points of evasion does not mean that it is functionally impossible for us to hit it. You know, when people have more gunnery skill and stuff. But for right now, for right now that's a very, very tall ask for our team. Hence the punching. Okay, final. Enemy mech destroyed. He only has enough ammunition to do that 24 more times. This is gonna be good. We are doing a terrible job of ever hitting the uh, the center torso. So what's his? He still has three evasions somehow. We just, we can't stop him. We can't stop him from evading. Targeting enemy Alright, that's a pretty good time to run out of enemies. Actually, a pretty good time to run out of enemies would have been a turn ago so that we could uh, spend some time losing heat. Okay. This time it's only three extremely fast and annoying enemies. Nope, never mind. It's absolutely four. Of course it's four. Why wouldn't it be four? So, these javelins are the ones I'm most concerned about. Where do they keep their ammunition? Is it just in the side torso bits? Yeah. So it's not going to matter too, too much where we shoot, or which side we shoot to. Okay, we did, we did not get the lucky ammo explosion. Waiting for orders. Moving to position. I think we might actually put some effort into uh, getting rid of this dude. I've got a center lock. Then again, I might also just punch that spider. It does feel like those javelins are uh, very fast, doesn't it? Waiting for orders. On my way. Okay, let's give this guy a little love tap. Do I want to? Do I want to bother aiming? I don't know that it will have enough of an effect. Tell me what to do. Okay, it's not a bad start. Yeah, critical hit. He's unsteady, so we can't sprint. Waiting I was really order. expecting a, uh, a salvo there. I would go so far as to say that I think it was a massive mistake on his part not to shoot at me. On my way. Ugh. Oh, not quite lethal. I had high hopes when the initial kick just went clean through the guy. I would love to move up here and take an AC-10 shot into right, this guy's side. Tell me what to shoot. There we go. That's a kill. Yeah, the urban mech is taking a real beating here. They have correctly identified the threat. Internal damage. So what do they have? They have this fire starter left. Thing is, they've kind of put this guy in a position to get hit in the back by all of the weapons. 
And I'm not really that afraid of the other dude, because he only has the one SRM-6 pod now. So I think I'm going to do this thing. It's 55 center back health. I'm going to go for it. We, we might be able to make 55 happen. We'll leave the flamethrowers off. Okay, well, I do have to have... It's not. It's certainly not going to work if the lasers just hard miss. Fire starter is staying on mission, which is not great for us. No big surprise there. I'm taking a pounding, Commander. I hear ya. Well, there's no version of this where I hit this guy, right? Actually, you know what? The odds are not that bad. Coordinates received. I think we do, in fact, have to try it. If we put him on the ground, it'll be a lot easier to finish him off. Okay, also that's fine, I guess. More where that, came from. that could turn into something kind of bad Commander? for me. <laughs> Depending on how, uh, how that Firestarter chooses to use his next turn. Uh, well, it is definitely better to go after this one. He has twice as many SRM pods left. There we go. That's what I want to see when I kick a small mech with a medium mech. Enemy down. And then you give him the mercy laser. Straight at the pilot. Oh hey, that base has LRM turrets. That's new information. I don't know that it matters too much. Uh, also, interesting, those turrets became another additional objective, so we're, we are really loaded up on optional objectives here. It is actually better for us to attack him from this side. Engaging physical attack. Darius, you seem a little confused. I mean, he saw the original turret fire, but he had a mouthful of potato chips, and he thought it would be rude to get on the comm. He just, he just managed to get it all down. Waiting for orders. Yeah, that's what I appreciate about Darius. He's very, uh, he's very considerate, dude. So let's see. If I... I think I have to go for the terrible shot here. I'm pretty sure if we just sensor lock him... He's going to run over and shoot a flamethrower at the Centurion, and that's going to turn out not so great for us. So we're going to do this to drop his initiative to two. Got it. Yep. Hard miss, no big surprise. 50% here. Affirmative. So we go for, for this shot like right, this. Commander. Oh, hey, that actually made contact. That was mostly about removing evasion, but that all right, that turned out okay. What can I do for you? Sadly, we cannot get a back arc shot, but that's fine. We'll back up a little bit. Not fire the UAC, I guess. Wow, not fire basically everything. In fact. All right, well, let's fire the LRM. If we're only firing a couple of... If we're only firing some weapon systems, let's fire the LRMs because I want to push him past the stability threshold. Make it so he can't sprint at me. Or away from me. Or whatever. Okay, that's totally fine. So now, I'm a little worried about the position of these guys. We may have a hard time keeping them from getting, like, a volley of shots off against the buildings. Commander? Commander? 
trying to clicking as hard as I can. Did not Got want it. to uh not want to try there. You know, we can precision strike him. Let's let's do our best to actually get this. Would uh, yeah, the AC Titan would in fact put him on his back. Okay, that's also fine. Critical hit, Commander. Yep, I think this is our move. Just let him have it with the lasers and the machine guns in that side. Hope that something goes center. Okay, cool. So we're going to end up with potentially six optional objectives completed. Is that right? No, five. One, two, three, the pirates and the, the friendly structures. But we do actually have to get up there to make this happen. Okay, four smalls. You, Wait, really? You can't get vision of anything? Alright, well, you have to, is the is the thing. I need vision. Right, Commander. It's Good a spider. You know, to be perfectly honest, probably not even worth shooting at. We need to dissipate some heat. Oh, I'm worried about this. And of course, there's a Jenner in this wave. So that the Jenner is just going to run up and hit this building for... Yeah, but between the Jenner and the uh, Javelin, it's probably not possible at this point to get the all buildings standing goal. We can pull the attention of one of them away. So you do 96 total damage, and you do 140, no, at 132. So I guess we shoot at you. Okay, we managed to make contact. That'll probably get his attention. A little worried about what it's going to, to go. goad him into doing, but... Got his attention, probably. On my way. All right, we're gonna lock him because the medium mechs are gonna have an opportunity to go before he does. Yeah. It's gonna be really difficult to keep them from destroying that building. And that's a, you know, that's a couple of, a couple hundred thousand sea bills there. Really? That's the best I could get? Okay, well. I mean, it is what it is. Roger that. Okay. Critical hit, Commander. So that'll let us drop LRMs onto his center torso while we reposition the other Centurion, which Waiting is something. You, and yet, but I need to get up here so that I can have the high ground and take direct shots on people. It'll give me an opportunity to drop some more heat. Center torso's at 35, which means the odds of me getting a kill here are very low. But it's all damage, it all adds up. Okay, and since we made him go last, we get to go first next turn, I believe. Pretty sure it's that simple. So we can have the fire starter punch one of the other mechs, probably. Draw its attention off as well. But, like, there's no saving this building. Because either one of these guys is capable of destroying it now. we punch? We can punch the javelin. 
then I think we probably ought to. And since these are the last, this is the last wave of guys, I think the odds are real good that we should just do whatever damage we can do here. Let's hope the punch goes center. Engaging physical attack. God damn it. Really, really awful. Yeah, but then the spider fin finishes the building off. No, it shot a different building. Commander? Okay, well then... That's... Hugely bad on its part. Just really ter Oh, it's a different spider. That's weird. That's a weird decision for it to make. Does this get me... It does get me small laser range. Okay. Here we go. So we're almost certain to hit this guy. I'm gonna go ahead and precision strike and try to get the AC-10 in there. Firing everything I've got. That's a shame. Okay, not a big deal. I do wish that Jenner was a little bit closer, because I don't think I'm going to be able to punch it. Can't take many more hits like that. Good to go. Yeah, I cannot, in fact, throw a punch. I mean, I guess it, it doesn't have any evasion, so I don't really need to throw a punch. As soon as you get him fighting... Commander? When they stop, they stop running all the time every turn. You've kind of got them. On my way. Part of me wants to just shoot this guy in the back and see if I can core him. Eh, that's probably not going to work. Let's finish the Jenner off. Affirmative. Even broken in half, that thing has a higher damage output than the others do. I will say, we're taking more damage here than I thought we were going to on account of all the enemy mechs being small and terrible. Oh, I thought it, this would be a, a little bit easier. I'm losing weapon so, systems. Yeah, there goes my autocannon. Waiting for orders. It's fine, I didn't need an autocannon. We don't quite have the evasion or the uh, resources necessary to pull us uh, precision strikes, so could just fire this terrible shot. Could and I think will. Yeah, I'm not happy about it. Can we get a little bit... I was hoping to like, get up a little tiny bit higher and get start getting some uh, high ground modifiers, but it looks like that is not happening. Well, whatever. This will be fine, then. So, no LRMs. Do fire the big stuff. Here it comes. Okay, that was something. Another hit like that, and you're toast. Let's get fired up. There's work to do. I feel like my mechs don't know that they're allowed to hit the enemies in the parts that would actually harm them. I think we probably should kill this javelin if we can. Gotta be carrying a bunch of damage through the center. Okay, just enough. Just enough. Okay. That's not as good for you. You don't really have the weapons to back that up. That got through my armor, Commander. I mean, I guess he has a machine he has a machine gun. It did not shoot to the same damage area. Minor. Waiting for orders. Well, it doesn't make any sense for me to do anything other than punch now. You can speed 
daylight through my armor. Boy, they sure are good at always hitting the part of the mech that doesn't have armor anymore. That's a critical hit. Kind of wild. I was gonna, I was gonna say, good how could it possibly be the case that that guy was not unsteadied by that attack? The answer is he was unsteady, and the game is just trying to freak me out. Got it. Here we go. Critical hit. All right, so we always get to go first because they have a turret that moves on. Uh, that moves on the one. So, shooting from the back isn't actually better than, than hitting from the front or the side at this point. Engaging physical attack. Okay, so that went right to the center torso. We somehow managed to not, like, Flamer fuel depleted. not do any actual damage there. That's incredible. Wow, well, the urban mech has just got to disengage, I think. Or, since the thing go. that's right in front of him is the only enemy that's left this turn, it's actually probably best for him to try to kill it. At this point, a melee hit or a small laser hit to the center is a kill. There we go. Yeah, the melee hit to a, to a bunch of different areas was a kill, actually. Because we managed to very evenly reduce that thing's Enemy armor and structure. Waiting for orders. Alright, we are still having Fight heat center. issues. You know, because the moon. Alright, well, in terms of... Uh, Affecting our ability to continue to do work on this uh, this planet. This has really sucked I And mean, we're gonna make a bunch of money, but it's not enough What a dropship Are you are you kidding me? By the end of this we're going to have destroyed 20 mechs Like that's uh, It is not okay for there to be another dropship I'm just re I'm just reserving. Let's let them all move. They probably won't attack us. They'll probably just sprint. We'll let them all commit nice and deep, and then we'll figure out what we want to do. Because we're not going to be able to shoot at them anyway. Given their positions and the positions of our force. Alright, right now I think they don't even have vision of the buildings. It's four Locust 1Ms. M is for missile, right? Yep. Commander. All right. Well, let's um, let us endeavor to drop some of these fools. So this keeps my left side toward the enemies, which is not what I want. I want to hit him from this side. Coordinates received. Oh! Okay. Leg out from under him, that should make that pretty easy to clean up. Waiting for orders. You are not going to be able to shoot anybody in the back, so hold on. I mean all we all we can really do is this, right? Just run over and hit one of these guys with the support weapons to again try to try to distract them from destroying the base. The fire starter has taken eight total damage over the course of the mission. This is not at all how I thought this was gonna go. There's 21 health there and 27 health there. Okay, not super surprising outcome. Waiting for orders. Waiting for orders. 
So I think we're going to try to finish that one off, maybe. I'm going to put you on the other side of this rock, so you're unlikely to be targeted. I've got a center lock. We give go. the locust a little bit, and then have you shoot it in the back? I gotta back up a little bit, because I want to make sure we are at optimal weapons range. Would we please just get a kill? Okay. So one of them's down on three initiative. One of them's dead. The turrets will take one. Oh, right. LRMs. That could actually be pretty bad. Gotta remember that. Okay, so we get to go first here, and we can probably... So I go, they go, I go, they go. So we get to go first on three. So I'm going to have the fire starter. Um, you can't melee that guy? That's a shame. And we got to distract the close ones, right? I get him in the back? I can, in fact, get him in the back. I gotta distract the close ones, keep them from dealing damage to the buildings. Okay, I mean, both of the lasers hit. Neither one of them hit the place I aimed, but both of them hitting was good enough. Just, like, transferring a ton of damage inward. Commander? Oh, man. <laughs> the urban mech gets to ride again. So we stomp on the mech that's downed. Oh yeah, I changed up the turn order, right, because I killed one of them before he got a turn, so it was... I do not get to go first. Ow, my LRM-10. Well, we're, we're definitely going to have to hang out here for a couple of days on the planet and do some mild repairs. Uh, I guess... Punching this... Oh, uh, we're punching the back either way, huh? Alright, right, just go for Peter. it. Yeah. As a fairly likely outcome. This is a hit, a hit to the damage side. I think still was Good lethal for the center torso. It was enough carryover damage. And then we definitely need to do... Oh, sorry. First of all, we need to move a little bit and turn so that Moving LRM fire is not coming into my back plate. And then who knows? Maybe it won't matter because we'll just kill this dude. Yeah, okay. So they don't have any vision of us anyway. And we have, in fact, managed to keep all the friendly structures standing. And now we can finally move on the enemy base here on round 24. This has been a nightmare. <laughs> this did not go the way I was imagining at all. So we'll have the urban mech. Um, we'll have the urban mech do a lot of sensor locking while we pick off the turrets with large lasers and LRMs and stuff. I wish the fire starter had sensor lock actually. Okay. Waiting for orders. We have readings. I'm assuming we are not close enough for the lock. Where's the edge? Of oh, the edge of sensor range is like way back here. Yeah. Sprinting. Waiting for orders. Next turn. Next turn we can Got shoot it. at stuff. It's been a good time for us to reset our heat though. Commander. Uh, let's just normal move. I don't want to take the risk of getting too close. Okay, can you now get sensor range? Actually, no, not even close. Moving fast. Well, we can probably just get normal visuals like this. But this means we got to be absolutely certain he goes down. They don't actually have a lot of health. It's not 
Turns out, these are not well-maintained turrets. Not that tough to make sure they go down. Waiting for orders. Can't quite get close enough. Okay. Got it. You brace, tire fire runs in. Double time. Yeah, I knew this was going to be a long one, but I was not quite prepared for how long because I didn't think we were going to have to fight this number of mechs. This density of opponents. Let's have the urban mech go first, and it it actually still can't get me a sensor lock on anything. Double time. Terrible, just absolutely terrible. I don't really want to expose myself to too many enemies at once, but maybe maybe we should like jump way in here. Just get vision of everything and try to kill everything. I have plenty of evasion. It'll probably be fine. Light sniper turret, light LRM turret. Interesting. They had two LRM turrets. But there was no turn where they both fired. I mean, that's really good for me. It could have been really dangerous. I guess one of them was quite a bit further forward than the other. Maybe we were just at the edge of the one range and the other one was not able to fire at all. Coordinates received. Uh, we may as well go pretty hard here. Consequences for failure would be a real shame. And we don't need ammo anymore. That's a kill. Waiting for orders. On my way. I'm gonna go ahead and fire everything, even though uh, the situation is what it is. If we had gone with just the auto cannon and we had missed, it, it would have shot at the fire starter and, you know, who knows. Who knows what kind of dumb garbage could have happened. Alright, let's flatten some buildings. This has taken forever. Building one down. It is round 28. Yeah, I'll, I'll be very curious to uh, to see. I guess there's not really a good way for me to know. But I'd be very curious to see how much money we would have made if we had done it the fastest possible way. And then compared that to the amount that we're going to have to pay for repairs here. See if it actually did turn out to be worth more money to do the uh, to do the optional objectives. Because it, it may not have. It honestly may not have. Alright, I feel like this animation could play a little bit faster. Commander? Here we go. Okay, we are we are going to get it done before round thirty. That's my that's my goal every mission. Say to myself, like, if we can just get this one done in fewer than thirty combat rounds. That'll be the, the true test of our skill. And look at this. I've done it once again. 100% success rate. Jesus Christ, stop talking to me. Get me out of this mission. <laughs> mission successful. Okay. So th we're going to get a lot of modifiers on, what, 553,000 C-bills? So it's going gonna, it's gonna to end up being a fair amount of total money. 882 is a pretty good payout. All of those were plus 10%, huh? I feel like they could be paying us a little bit better. Look at the <laughs> look at the kill count. Trampolines in the hospital for a little while, and Jesus, Jesus! Look at all this garbage, all this terrible, terrible loot. I've never seen such a large amount of terrible loot. Uh, I guess we take part of a javelin because we're close to being able to sell uh, the jenner probably sells for more because it's tonnage is higher okay what a surprise the loot we got was not very good it was a fair amount of money but it i bet it was not worth the extra money we're gonna have to pay in repairs especially when you consider the time because we probably can't just go do a two skull right we, we probably have to put repairs in uh, this is going to take forever to load back to the screen. I'm just going to go ahead and call it right here.
Thank you all so much for watching. That was a miserable slog. Man, I can't wait until we have bigger mechs and we can do better missions. Uh, come back next time tomorrow for, hopefully, some things that are a little bit faster and a little bit more interesting. And we'll see you then.